Good howdy folks. Welcome back to another James Blackford experience. Thanks a lot for tuning back in. Today is Friday, July 14th, 2017. And as you can see out the door here, I'm in the middle of nowhere. We're on our way to Fort Sumner, New Mexico with the New Mexico Gunfighter Association today. It's the anniversary of the day Billy the Kid died and we're heading down to do some shows for him. So stay tuned and I'll show you some of the history along the way. Thanks a lot. All right, folks, made it to Fort Sumner. Right back here, you can see the building there. That is our sponsor for the day, right there. Six Shooter Gallery and Gifts. And we're gonna be doing two shows for them today and a Billy the Kid presentation. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Here you can see is our playing area. We did a show here last year as well. They brought in some wagons for us. That's always fun. A little old wheel there. Another wagon with some gunfighters hanging out. And then our playing area is right past these trees here. You can see there's another wagon back there. And then one to the right. And our playing area will be right here on the other side of that sidewalk. So audience can stand where I'm at and be in the shade. And we get to die on grass today, which is a very rare and awesome thing that we love to do because usually we die on pavement. So it's always nice. Now here is my Buford hat. I stuck it there for now because there's a hole that we don't want to trip over while we're doing the shows. So it'll stay there until I need it later. Other than that, it's a beautiful day here in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. I always love these old wagons. It's just super cool looking to me. You know, the color of the red and the green together. It's very New Mexican as well as just nice colors that complement one another but look at that thing pretty awesome there's another smaller wagon here i'm not exactly sure what type this is but once again it's really neat looking at historic at the same time right here my bro what did you do to my brother oh his hat i know my brother's hat what did you do to my brother uh, uh, Where's my brother? That's his hat. Where is I, I he? I don't know. He 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 left it there. I guess I uh, I thought he was under the hat still, he maybe six feet under. Is he taking a dirt nap? Well, he'd never leave his good hat behind. That's his good hat. Yeah, that's Buford's good hat. Uh oh. What did you do with my brother? I don't know. My ma ain't gonna like that not one bit. Dang it, I knew I should have, uh, I shouldn't have shot Buford in the back with my own gun five times, but we're not going to go into that. So the truth comes out, you shot my brother. Well, he shot me first. Don't mean anything. You know he doesn't know, he's not very bright. Well, I know he shooed my horse and I didn't tell him to. Again, you know my brother's not very bright. You've got to be specific. That's and now true. look what you did to my poor brother. I think maybe he's not very bright. He left his hat here himself. I don't know. Maybe later Buford will show up. How did he get up there? Now this wagon right here is more of a... Look at that. It's a six-seater. Yeah, that's like, a, that's like the Old West version of a van right there. I'm not pushing again. Excuse me. <laughs> She's having issues getting in, but she made it. Okay, let's go. Boy, that looks comfortable, actually. It's a six-seater. Fully open on all sides, meaning it's air conditioned by Mother Nature. This works. <laughs> and let's see, uh, why don't you be a horse and pull her along for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> Another really cool looking wagon here as well. It's neat, very neat. The last wagon is right here. This one was here last year. It's a cool covered wagon. We'll get our pictures in front of it later. A little bit of history there for you right there. Pretty awesome. God, they must have not been very tall people either. I was thinking the same thing. There's not a lot of space in there. Yeah. They're, they're pretty skinny. There's room for two. Skinny. Best quarters. Right down to the right. There they are. Whiskey. Whiskey. And we got our gunfighter ladies here. Looking mighty fine there, ladies. Appreciate it. Looking good. Well, let me get a quick photo of that too while we're at it. Perfect. Yep. 
Let me get one here of the old Tomster. Tomster. <laughs> Is that a name? <laughs> J. Nathan Simmons, the man, the myth, the legend. Tired guy. Nice. Got these over there. Cool. And here we have a hearse from the Old West. Right back here is where the coffin would have gone. They're beautiful construction, but it does have a kind of a creepy feel to it. So very interesting. So that's a good idea. We let's get everybody over here real quick. Not to tell anybody what to do. It's just well, maybe I'll just load one shotgun. The dress is coming out right there. Yep. All right, folks, the show is about to begin. We're going to be doing a shootout here in just a second. It's going to be great. Uh -huh. He's got the camera. Howdy. I said howdy. Howdy. All right, that's a little better. We are the New Mexico Gunfighters Association. We want to thank the town of Fort Sumner and, of course, the uh, six-shooter over here, Gallery and Gifts, for bringing us out again this year. We really appreciate it. We're going to put on a show here for you in just a minute. Appreciate everybody being here. Uh, first, we're going to talk real quick about safety before we go back in time here. Who? Hi, Jenny. You mean this woman here? Yep. Yeah, that woman right there. It looks like we got a little bit of a problem. This woman here, she's been married. Got married? Yeah. yeah. To me. To you? To me. Get out. And I come back, there's dead bodies all over the street. Lead poisoning? <laughs> Never mind that. <laughs> you get those chores done like I told you to? What chores? Did you mend that hole in the fence where those cows got out? Well, I figured that that way the other way go out, they'd be afraid to get back in. Well, woman, did you fix that hole in the roof over our bed? No one complained about it yet. I did. I don't think that's all Explain all y'all want to. I'm tired of it. Quit shooting me. Railroad car. Yeah. Now we are inside Billy the Kid Museum and they have lots and lots of Old West firearms in here and other antiques. It's definitely worth a visit. Very, very much so. On the other side here, more firearms. Lots of history here as well pistols, and a variety of other antiques as you can see, and one of the most famous things here is that rifle right there. See what it says about it? Billy the Kid's rifle. So it was given to a friend two months before he was shot, and here it is, the actual rifle of Billy the Kid. Now that, that's got some history to it. Very, very neat. This place is amazing. There's so much here. You could spend hours in here looking at everything and learning about the history. Cool organ there. And there's a ghost right there in the doorway, in the window, in the mirror. <laughs> All right, folks, so that's a little bit of the Billy Kid Museum. If you're ever in Fort Sumner or you just want to see this, I recommend you come out and check it out because it's a great museum full of wonderful, awesome historical pieces. So. Folks, the museum continues outside here with a history wall of Billy the Kid of painted murals. And even though we're under a roof, it feels like outside because of the heat, but the museum is huge. It's multiple buildings. It's definitely worthy of a, of a visit. It just keeps going. It's awesome. What an amazing place. I love these old lanterns, too. Those are always really cool. I think it's raining outside. 
kind of a neat uh, replica of the San Miguel Mission. That's pretty cool. Some old wood stoves as well, leading down to an old cook stove and an old waffle maker right there. And last but not least, look at this. Big old cauldrons for cooking stuff in and old Dutch ovens and stuff. <laughs> wow. Some old wagons in here as well. Boy, this thing really does have a little bit of everything as far as history is concerned. Old jail cell. Let's see what it looks like from the inside. Hey, Billy. That would be a bummer to be locked in here for sure. Somebody carved their name in here back in 1967. So this has been here for a little while as well. Average room of the time. Bed, kitchen, the whole nine yards in one room. And more wagons everywhere. The old antique wagons are awesome. These were probably luxury ones in the time period because they had padding on the seats. All right, folks. Well, the Billy the Kid Museum has a lot more than Billy the Kid history. There's a car museum here, too. Look at this. And they're all beautiful and taken care of so well. Wow. It's an old fire truck back there as well. Wow, this is really, really neat. That totally looked like Al Capone style day or something right there, car. Wow. This museum must take up a few acres of land because there's so much here. Yeah, I definitely would recommend coming here. If I had more time, I could spend a whole day in here. I think just, you know, exploring. All right, folks, we're going to end our video here at the graveyard of Billy the Kid and a few other people. So let's go back and pay our respects. You know that wood hadn't been there since 1890. Oh yeah, it's a replica from yeah. from the past. Napoleon's name? Yeah, Maxwell. This guy's got a lot of history in this area of New Mexico. And if you do your reading, folks, you'll find out that Pete Maxwell was a big part of the Billy Kid history here as well. So look that up online when you get a chance. This yeah. is where his final resting place is. And we're here to pay our respects. So here's the original tombstone and the metal that they put around it to keep it from getting stolen again and as you can see on the sign that I, we just showed you the whole story there about that and then of course we got we got Tom Billy and Charlie pals to the end all buried here together a little bit of history and a little bit of uh, of just family feeling to it you know these folks took care of each other back then Folks, thanks a lot for tuning back in. I really appreciate it. Right now we're in a place that's very, very famous. It's Billy the Kid's gravesite. And we're seeing the sign for the first time that we've ever seen. It's been put up here. And it's very emotional for us because one of our gunfighters that we lost two years ago, he passed away, but he's mentioned right here, Jarvis Patrick Garrett. We knew him as J.P. Garrett, and he was a wonderful human being. And... Uh, and I'm glad to see that they're carrying on his name and remembering the contributions he had for Billy the Kid and, and the Garrett family. It was really, really amazing. So I think I'm going to let you guys go for the day, but I appreciate you watching. As usual, love, love, and hate, hate. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Thanks.